Hi guys, and welcome back to Board the Game. You know, it's been quite a while since our last video, many reasons for that, the main one, a lack of time, but of course, there is not much sense in making excuses right now. We need to move forward and try to be at least a little bit more consistent with our production. Now, there aren't many better opportunities to restart than looking at one of the biggest footballing upsets on international level in recent history. The European champion Italy again won't play at the World Cup after losing at home against the brave team of North Macedonia. And how did this happen? Let's board the game. We won't take a lot of your time looking straight at the winning goal in stoppage time. But just before that, the hero is Alexander Trajkovski, and there is a magnificent story about him that's worth telling. He scored at Stadio Renzo Barbera, where he used to play for Palermo, the club which gave him a chance in Serie A back in 2015. Now, Italy chose with purpose to play this game at Barbera because of the passionate fans. But maybe they forgot about Trajkovski, who obviously said to himself, fair enough for me, I still know where the goal is at Barbera and I'm going to show them. In fact, there is nothing extraordinary about the attack leading to the goal. At that time, goal is draw, North Macedonia doesn't need to take any risks. So, just a simple long ball from the goal kick. You can see Trajkovski here, in front of Florenzi, the right back. The forward is waiting smart in behind the duo for the ball, here, up in the air. Bastoni is doing his job fine. He follows Miovski closely, but still the positioning of the attacker is better and he wins the ball. From here, for me, there are three very important aspects. First, how Jorginho underestimated the danger, the lack of communication between Chiellini and Emerson, and finally, the late reaction from Florenzi. Here is his position, giving the impression of looking carefully at his man. But the right back needed to be more attentive and predictive. When he sees Bastoni coming out of the back four, the right back must come inside to close the gap between him and the central defender. Better to leave space on the outside than directly in front of the goal, as it happened. That's how he could have reacted faster, staying ahead of Trajkovski, but he is late and can't play the ball. Now, the next one guilty is Jorginho. Not in a single moment he is looking to see if the defense needs his help. Of course, maybe he believes that Bastoni's place will be taken by Florenzi, but still, as one of the best defensive midfielders in the game, he should have a better anticipation. First, he is surprised by the trajectory of the ball, and when it goes behind him, he sees Trajkovski's touch, and his first reaction is not to follow him, but to raise a hand, pretending for a handball. That's so inappropriate, and it's something they teach you in football academies when you are an 8-9 year old kid. Don't stop playing, asking anything from the referee in such an important zone of the field. Nah, you will say, it's not so important. But it is, believe me because a second later Trajkovski fires the ball in the far bottom corner, something Jorginho could have prevented if he stayed with his opponent instead of looking for a high five. And here is the thing about these two defenders. Either one of Chiellini and Emerson could have closed down Trajkovski, but they couldn't decide who is marking this player here. He went between them, keeping them back, and when Emerson tried to stop the shot, it was a little too late. The shot itself is brilliant, powerful, precise and surprising. Still, Donnarumma is also to blame, because his starting position, when seeing the ball coming at him, was indeed closer to this side of the goal. For me, it's obvious the manager Mancini is also responsible for the loss, because he sent Chiellini, with small amount of playing time in recent weeks, on the field just seconds before the goal. Congratulations to North Macedonia after another epic performance, beating one of the powerhouses in international football. After wins against Germany and Italy, Portugal should be warned. Before leaving, we won't mind if you like the video, comment or even subscribe to the channel. See you next time in Board the Game.